Well, hey there, everybody. Well, uh, happy Wednesday, and welcome to the Wednesday broadcast of Starfield. What an eventful broadcast we had yesterday. We got the entire Crimson Fleet quest line done. Now we just have to wrap up a few things. Uh, we, we pushed a, a seven-hour broadcast yesterday, so um, I had family waiting for me. I had things to do, so I had to jump off there at the end. But we need to go to the Brig of the Vigilance and, uh, you know, rub our success into a few faces and sort of clean things up before we move on to the next thing. There's a lot we could do. We could uh, immediately start on our companion's quest, um, which will be good so that we can actually get rid of her if we ever need to. Um, there's also just settlement building and shipbuilding and random encounters and just owning a planet. There's lots to do. There's also the Ryujin, or Ryu, Ryushkin, or whatever that faction is at Neon. They've got an entire quest line as well that we could be tackling. Also, we could complete the game, you know, by finishing the Constellation quest, <laughs> which we haven't done yet. So there are a myriad of, of ways we could go right now, and uh, it's just good to see each and every one of you today. Good to see Alt Grendel, Laura, Tony, Present99, Mr. Gene, Pyro, uh, Tony J, Mark Fogarty, Jersey, Mr. Jock, Crimson Bolt, John Washburn. Again, not streaming on Facebook today as there's a synchronization problem with the software that I've been using to uh, multi-broadcast. So we're just live on YouTube today. Hope you've had a great week so far. I've been working really hard on a new lore video today. I spent the morning working on that and made some great progress. So I think I will be able to have a lore video uh, done for you all by Saturday. So that's some good news. Something to look forward to. And it's Man of War in the chat today with the first super chat says, how did you deal with the terror morphs? Biological weapon or the cattle? Um, I chose the cattle, as the whole biological weapon really made me uncomfortable. And everyone at Constellation has chastised me for that decision. I mean, even uh, our, our current companion, when she saw the giant creatures, she said they were majestic and they almost looked serpentine, which of course we should have seen as a hint as to her true identity at the time. Uh, but when we chose that option, she was really disappointed. She didn't like it. She would have preferred if we chose the microscopic organism and releasing it into the atmosphere of every planet. Yeah, that made me uncomfortable. I mean, sure, science has said that it's harmful or, or it's harmless now, but uh, there is the chance that it could mutate and mutate on a mu much faster rate as a microscopic organism uh, at a much faster rate uh, than um, land creatures do. So it made me uncomfortable and I chose the cattle option. Kunk says, hot tip, stealth is based on equipped weight, and that includes your gun. It's not as much fun as previous Bethesda games, but it is more realistic. Yeah, that's something we discovered in our last broadcast. We, you know, we're not having a very good uh, success with stealth with all of our armor on, but once we took it all off, we breezed through that very difficult stealth mission on Neon. What everybody was warning me about, about how difficult it was going to be, I needed to leave my companions aside. Once we took off the armor, we just breezed right through it. It was not that much of a problem. President 99 says, A uh, question, were you late by a minute? Did say something here in chat? If so, oh well, let's do it. Work for Ox incoming. No, 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 it's this, listen. Gandalf covered this. A wizard is never later early. A streamer is never late or early. He is on time whenever that time is that he arrives. 
This is the time I chose to go live, and I am on time. Uh, Present 99 gifted 20, uh, or no, gift, yeah, 20 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you very much, Present 99. Extremely generous. And we got a lot of people taking them up on that offer today. Congratulations to Uber Nerd, Toby Noble, Elise, the Heroic Deer, Dario Benjamin, Nightcore Fan for Life, Brandon Delvin, uh, Corporal Kilby, uh, K Black De Enigma, IMG Snap, Dr. Fox, we'll, we'll say Fox, Michael S., Baron Von Abstent, Change the Punk, Logan Hill, Little Spark, Chef Breccia, Vicky T., Captain Noob, and Lawrence Corner. Congratulations all, and thanks again, Present99. Rachel says, I zeted you some chunks. Clear out that shed. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't think I can get real-life chunks props. I mean, as much as I love chunks in the Starfield universe, it's just... That's a lot. There's a lot of chunks. <laughs> Devin Townsend says, Hey, Ox, since you haven't done the Ryujin quest line, you have an opportunity to pickpocket Benjamin's penthouse key. Yes, I need to do that. I tried doing that in my last broadcast, but I, I couldn't uh, because it was sitting down. So maybe we should go to Neon and go get that house key so we can check out his penthouse. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we've got a hard save on the UC Vigilance. Let's grab it. Assist F formal uniform. Nice. All right, we picked up some um, gear, didn't we? Did we put it on? Okay, that's not any good. We can sell that. So the stats are just too great for me to ignore at this point. I mean, it's got the anti-ballistic lead lined and mirrored legendary effects, but this has, I mean, 14 more physical damage resist. There's just a lot. It's over 10, sometimes over 12, 13 for each one. 14 greater EM resistance, 20 thermal. Now I lose out on airborne, radiation, and corrosive. That's actually a bit of a problem. And they dump it all into thermal. We'll go with that for now. I'm gonna have to, I have to start paying attention to uh, regular pieces of armor that are found in the world because my legendary stuff is now out leveled. I think I have out leveled it. Mando Cool Cat says if you're looking for something spooky and creepy to get into the Halloween spirit, there's something in orbit around Schrodlinger Three to check out. Schrodlinger 3, I mean, it's a good opportunity. We are between things now. Artpixel says, what's the plan for today? Gonna try outposts or get more powers? I could do both. Both would be good. Mr. Master Chief says, you defeated the whole Crimson Fleet? I did indeed. With an asterisk. Nevamora escaped. The one person in the Crimson Fleet that I was kind of worried about. The only one who even made me slightly... Nervous. 
she escaped. It'll be inter interesting to see if we ever bump into her again. Interesting to see. Okay, let's go rub some salt into some wounds. Your actions save countless lives. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, Some I of am. the crew had doubts about you, but not anymore. Nope, nope, not anymore. It's finally over. We did it. All right, there is our Captain Rokov. There is Estelle. This one is still empty. No, no, it's Austin Rake. There we go. But this one is still empty at the end of the quest. There's Juan. And there's Adler Kemp. Hey, Dayu. That stunt you pulled on SY920 nearly cost my buddy their life. What are you looking at me for? I didn't step foot on that station. But the person who did is right over there. What? The stunt at S... We didn't kill anybody. We were completely non-violent. What does he mean almost cost uh, his buddy his life? No one in there. No one in there. Oh, come on. Is it... There we go. Here we go. No, we already talked. Did we already talk? Komiko. Finally. I've been waiting to speak to you. From our last encounter on Neon, I could tell you fancied yourself as a bit of a businessman. Right. Well, I don't want to waste any time with small talk. Let's make a deal so I can get out of here. <laughs> what kind of deal? As you can see, I'm not in the position to discuss specifics. We can hammer out the terms once you get me out of here. No way, not interested. Now hold on just a moment. You shouldn't make snap decisions until you know the bottom line. I find myself in this unfortunate situation thanks to a terrible misunderstanding oh sure. that little conversation on your evidence recording the one where i'm speaking to estelle vincent about funneling electrical components yeah that was part of a sting operation to discover how the crimson fleet had been siphoning goods from jenardine's warehouses much like you've been working undercover i've been doing the same ironically we've been investigating the fleet from opposite sides at the same time Oh. Why didn't you tell Sizdef about your sting operation? Well, I was trying to keep a low profile. I didn't want to tip off Estelle, so my operation was deep undercover. Very deep. Hmm. So much so that there's no other personnel at Jenardine, nor a paper trail that can corroborate what I'm saying. Being in a similar situation, I'm sure you understand the value of keeping the operation quiet. Right, but there would be someone in the UC Navy who knew, right? Some Someone in the UC Marines. You were working on the opposite end, so there was somebody working with you. You weren't doing it by yourself. We could say, uh, keep talking. I appreciate your patience. So here's what I'm proposing. You spring me from the cell, sneak me off the vigilance, and then take me to New Atlantis. In return, I'll give you my access card to a safety deposit box filled with millions of credits. Consider it compensation for trusting me. Wait, 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 no. How about we go, you show me evidence first. <clears throat> Wouldn't an escape make, th make things worse for you? Listen, I'm stuck in this situation with no means to prove my innocence, thanks to you. The evidence on that recording means the UC will convict me, and I'll be sent to prison for a long time. I have no other choice but to run until I can find a way out of this mess. Rachel says, I recommend the Ryujin quest back to the grind. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. It's a long quest, if the past three faction quests are um, anything to go by, and I don't really want to get into another really long quest right now. Um, so I want to kind of wrap some of the other things up that we've been working on uh, today. 
Mr. Master Chief says, congra uh, congra con Congrate Ox. Welcome to the UC SysDef. Congratulate Ox. Welcome to the UC SysDef. If this is Starfield Online, I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. And yeah, Neva is escaping. Expecting she'll be back maybe in a DLC, maybe called Neva's Revenge. That would be a really interesting Can DLC. Can we hurry this up? Genie Weenie says, would you rather replay Starfield or Outer Worlds? Uh, they're both good in their own ways. Um, if I had to choose, I'd have to choose uh, Starfield. Outer Worlds is great, but it's a bit more linear, and you don't really have the freedom of space. Like, in this game, there are you know, almost a hundred different systems you can explore. There's a lot of freedom of space. And with Outer Worlds, there are like four different planets you can go to, and only a small section on those planets. So if I had to choose between the two. Um, Hello? You going to say something? You're not a very good liar. Yeah? Well, you're a pain in the ass. Look, I have friends in high places. I might be down for the count right now, but I'll be getting out of here one way or another. And when I do, I'm going to dedicate my entire life to making yours miserable. How's that for a deal? Now get the hell away from me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, so it was a lie. She was, she was really trying, but she didn't give me uh, any evidence. Like, if she had given me an opportunity to go find some evidence so I could have believed her, then yeah, maybe I would have sprung her out, even if it was for the Free Star Collective. If she, was, if she was legitimately an undercover agent, even working for another government to try and take down the pirates, then she has my sympathy, and I would have worked with her. But she didn't give me any evidence. She didn't even try to provide me any evidence. There was no one else I could cooperate her story with, so she was lying. And that cell is empty, and that cell is empty. Okay, I guess we haven't given them enough time to, uh, um, to, wrap, to rope in the other guys that we found. Hey, Rake. Word is the other prisoners don't like you much. Looks like my monitor just uh, turned red and it just flipped back to green. Okay, sorry for the brief technical issue there. Looks like I had an internet connectivity problem on a Wednesday. Because, of course, it's always on Wednesdays. We're talking Thank about you. this battle in the history slates. Thank you, Comcast. Art Pixel says, if you land in a frozen biome, look for an al a large abandoned oil rig platform. It has some really good lore. It's a procedural generation. Thank you. And I bet now there are the fleet's done, probably dozens of um, procedurally Apple. generated locations of lore that we have yet to encounter because we've been working on the primary plot. All right, I don't know when I'm going to be able to find the Vigilance again because it's constantly moving. So I'm going to come back and see if the people have respawned. There's still a lot of cleanup that needs to be done as we wind down this operation. Nothing we can't handle. So what happens to these prisoners? We're taking them back to Mast? Okay, where's Delgado? I want to talk to Delgado. Thomas McCormick says, no, the vigilance the stays above the key. Oh, it stops moving. Great. Okay, well, then I can come back. Band Ox says chat. All right. Thank you so much for that. 
Okay, so there we are on the key. Why is our quest sending us back to the key? We don't have anything tackled. Okay, this is Andrea's quest. This is Dear Sister, but we don't know where that is because we have no idea where the constant is. It's no longer in orbit around Porama 2. Oh, we need to go to Earth and visit the uh, the landmarks. Let's go to Porama 2 just in case. Just to see if it's back. Yeah, it's not here. It's not in orbit around Porama 2. And look, there's nothing on my radar. There's nothing marked. So the quest is bugged. If you make the decision I did, the quest is still bugged. All right, let's get rid of our contraband. Let's go to the wolf system. I mean, maybe we could sell it at Paradiso. It is uh, independent, but just to be safe, we'll go to the wolf system. Mr. Master Chief says, oh, and by the way, Ox, the hunt of Crick's legacy, does it look like one of the Fallout New Vegas DLCs called Dead Money, where we siege the Sierra Madre Casino? Think about it, red gas, huge loot, money, strong security, etc., etc. Never get tired of that. Whoops. Um, it's an interesting analogy. So the treasure of the Sierra Madre in this particular comparison would be Crix's legacy. And the red gas, the EM field around Crix's legacy, could be the red gas that was uh, in the Sierra Madre. Yeah, it's in, it's an interesting correlation. Come on, wow, I gotta get so close. Josh Bunton says, Ox, thank you for being live today. I need this. You're welcome, Josh. Some days we just need to get our minds off things, and I'm happy to be live uh, This station is but a shadow of its today. former purpose. Mando I do not cool like it cat here. Says, have you finished Andrea's ally quest? I just did it, and it was my favorite companion quest by if far. If you're ever in New Atlantis, my How may the trade me? authority assist? I you won't find a better off. I haven't completed it yet, but I'm working on that now. So let's um, go to miscellaneous. Oh, did we already get rid of it? Do we still need these medical supplies? Or is it a quest item? I don't think we need it anymore. Huh. I thought we still had it on our inventory, but apparently not. Oh, well. Let's get rid of um, the Star Roamer pack, which we don't need. And I'm going to keep that for now. I should probably store these. Okay, well. Six and Anna getting through. I suppose I should have checked my inventory before we. Hey, what can I do for you? Hop to board. I have 
something to give you when you've got a moment. Ranger spacesuit. That's a cool looking spacesuit. When did I get that? But uh, they're both worse than what I've got. Wait a minute. I'm oh, I'm on the Star Eagle. Let's go to inventory. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Let's store notes we don't need. And let's store aid we don't need. Ooh, I'm carrying a lot of this. Gonna weigh me down. Forty-two. Yay! I got some back. I I think I ran out in a previous broadcast. That's the trauma packs that I'm low on. 42 med packs? Oh. Zero weight, so I don't need to worry about it. 21 amps. There we go. Okay, everybody. Lots of opinions about what we should do next, but I'm stuck with Andrea for right now until I complete her quest. So, I need to get that done. Andresia is looking to connect with people from her past to put her mind at ease about prior missions. We need to find Aaron Bascom in Aquila City. Man of Warb says, uh, for the Sierra Madre comparison to work, Crix had to have betrayed a few partners and then died because he couldn't break the security alone. Instead, he was betrayed due to ambition instead of greed. It's not a perfect comparison, true, but no comparison is. Um, it's similar enough to be an interesting anecdote. Uh, but that's true. Thank you for that, Man of Warp. Right. To Aquila City. There is so much around this planet. Okay, we need to talk to Andrea at Aggie's. You coming? I think I got the... I'm assuming it's around the corner here. Ah. The stretch. On the job. Aggie. You and a couple buddies. Yeah. Conserve energy if you can. This gravity can be a lot to deal with. Yeah, stab. 
last night. No, we'll take it. But nobody got hit in the face. Ah, uh, yes, Aggies. I have spent far too much time here. I do not recommend it. Could be an old tooth from another night. Yeah. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow. We could say that's not surprising. You've built this up in your head, or just relax. It'll be okay. Or maybe we should try somewhere else. Hmm, no. This is the only place he would be. I know him well enough to know that. Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. Whoa, hey, getting a little personal there. Nice Locals can be tap. especially colorful here. Want a drink? Second chances don't come easy. Takes a lot of work, sometimes a lot of help, too. That's an interesting tattoo. Yeah, something I got back when I was an irresponsible kid. There's a lot of things I'd probably do differently if I had a second chance. But hey, that which doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? I'd like to order something. What's your order? If you already got Bourbon. <laughs> Good educator. Drink pack beer. That's about it. Solemn reserve. Okay, well. He doesn't have the info that we need. Looks like if you're she does. here about the blood stain. I'll get to it when I get to it. This bar may be tougher than you can handle. Yeah, everyone's got face tattoos and eye scars. This is a badass place. Badass. Is the stretch always this crowded? More and more as time goes on. Plenty of folks looking to get out from under the thumb of the UC, or taking their first steps to being independent. City's been slow to keep up with all the new people. Took them forever to put up the outer walls, and at this rate, they'll need to expand again soon. You run this place all by yourself? You surprised or disappointed? It's my name on the outside, isn't it? Been here too damn long to let someone else come in and muck it up. Hell, even finding decent help isn't worth the trouble half the time. Ethan's got half a brain in his head, seems like, so maybe he'll work out. I'm looking for Aaron Bascom. You? You ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. Uh-oh. Is there a problem? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one blundering in here with her in tow asking questions. Don't worry about her. <clears throat> You're dealing with me. Don't try to play tough with me. I ain't got the time or the patience for it. Mm. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Oh, dear God. Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? Oh, no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spare me the righteous indignation act. We're trying to make up for things. We'd just like to know that he is safe. Or that's not how it happened. Let's go with we'd just like to know that he's safe. Now, after all this time, you could have dropped in any time in all oh, the last nine years or so. Maybe that wouldn't have been too convenient for you, though. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow, convinced the damned zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. Oh no. Let's skip the sob story. Just tell me where he is, or I'm sorry. No one deserves to live like that, or clearly you care about him. We do too. Both of these are good. Let's try this. Look, I've seen all kinds of sad sacks over the years. Most of them brought it on themselves. He was no different. Got himself in over his head, mixed up in something he shouldn't have been. Still, 
Not pretty to watch the slide down afterwards. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too, thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he blame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Oh, dear. Fine. Did he blame me? No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. Oh. My kind? So she's a bit of a racist. I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove them. You dare okay. insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help. I should kill you where you stand. Andrea, just, just, just show a minute here. Okay, we're getting lots of emotions, lots of emotions. She obviously hates the House Varun, and you are pretty sensitive. Let's not kill people. We know that he's on a planet. Hydra 2 or something will go there. Uh, we could say this isn't what Eren would want. Or we came here for information and we got it. Let's just go. Or let's just calm down. We're not here to hurt anyone. Let's just go. I came here for information. Let's go. Fine. But perhaps I will return here at some point. Well, this has been so much fun. <laughs> you see Eren, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. Something on your mind? Okay. Wow. Well, Andrea, was that everything you hoped it would be? You meet Aggie yet? Tough as it come, but I owe her everything. We have something to go on, at least. I am grateful that you showed some compassion. Get that inventory done. Despite that woman's sure attitude. Did. And you put in that order. I do Shepard? not have your patience. Yes, you're a damn sight more reliable than my last bartender. Oh my god, stop talking That's in the background. That's because rumor has it if I don't stay on your good side, I'm I just wanted to avoid part. confrontation, or it just seemed like <sighs> the right thing to say, you or hear it about was me the truth. Nash. Nothing more, nothing less. Most of it, less. sure, but maybe not that much. It's the right thing to say. You well, like are here, more something. diplomatic than I, I would be. I'm gratitude, but uh, <laughs> it really means a lot. One more reason, I am glad to have you with me. Thank you for that. I'm eager well, to reach Hyla too, so and speak to Aaron. Perhaps there is something we can do to help him. Not a chance. Provide him a sense of safety. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can do something for him. Right, well, we don't have any other dialogue options available for her, so let's When's back out. We will speak again. I am sure. Well, this is our first time at Aggie's. Let's walk around and see if there's anything here, like a perk magazine or... Well, we don't need to worry about evidence anymore. We completed that quest, thank God. It was a lot of fun, though. I have to say, the Crimson Fleet quest... Really? It's it's one of my favorites. It's right up there with the, uh, the UC quest, which was also amazing. I'm a little disappointed by the pain, free star quest. One. It... It didn't, it didn't have it for me. Like, it, it was a bit too predictable, and then it all if fell apart credits, at the end. If you got credits, spend them with Ethan. Or leave. Nah. Take it or leave it. But the other two have been great. Okay, well, that's it for Aggie's Bar. What a place to spend your life. Uh, okay, to the ship. We can fast travel right now. Yeah, I'm not trying to land in the ocean. I'm trying to go back to my ship. Whew. If you are free soon, could we talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a welcome diversion. What do you need? All right, we'll talk, Andrea. We could have done it in town, but no, we'll do it here too. Okay, let's get some room. Come here. Come here. Come here. You really want to do it right by the cockpit. Right by the cockpit, okay. In the end, you chose the UC over the Crimson Fleet. Do you believe that was the right choice? Oh man, she wants to talk about this. Mr. Master Chief says, geez, these two ladies need a nice cold chilled drink. How about the Sierra Madre Mar Martini, courtesy of Dan uh, Dean Domino? 
A nice cool drink would definitely help. All right, we asked her for her opinion before we made our decision, and she said she couldn't pick between the two. She thought they were both bad and that we should just go with our conscience. She wasn't the person to bring on this quest. <laughs> and now she wants to know if we are happy with our decision. We could say there were moments where I had my doubts, or sis Steph didn't really give me much of a choice, did they? Where if I have to pick sides, I'm going with the bigger guns, or I couldn't bring myself to side with pirates. I can respect that. I am no supporter of the United Colonies, but I also could not bring myself to side with the fleet and what they represent. Did getting that close to Delgado and the fleet make it difficult at all? It can be harder to act against someone once you get to know them. I mean, they keep bringing that up. Every time I talk with someone, they're like, oh man, it must have been so hard. But I'm sitting here like, no, the more we got to know them, the more it was justified to fight against them. Like they kept revealing themselves to be the monsters that they are, you know, murdering people. We found that one holotape where they, they got a, a, a civilian ship and killed 32 people aboard just for the loot. Like, I don't understand how you could possibly work with the Crimson Fleet and walk away going, oh yeah, but some of them are kind of nice. <laughs> uh, okay, we could say, I don't give a damn about any of them. You see your pirates, or I'm never happy to betray someone who's counting on me, or rotting in prison is exactly what he deserves. Yeah, Delgado deserves to rot in prison. Was there more? But she's probably not going to like this, but I have to choose it. Perhaps. I would not have minded seeing him in pieces, but prison will suffice. He will get what he truly deserves eventually, as will we all. The Great Serpent will see to that. Really? It would be foolish to think, though, that we have seen the last of the Crimson Fleet. We may have eliminated the leadership, but there are many more pirates out there. So she she still believes in the Great Serpent. Wow. Okay, well. We could say, what's the opposite of a silver lining? You're great at finding those. Or if they reorganize, we'll be waiting. Or they, there will always be people desperate enough to resort to piracy. Or the UC can deal with it from here. I've had enough. <laughs> Let's say if they reorganize, we'll be waiting. I suppose we will have little choice. For now, you should enjoy your hard-earned victory. You have done a service for all of the settled systems. Okay, am I going to get a like? No, no, I'm not going to get a like. I'm not going to get anything out of her. I'm trying to build her affinity and she's given me nothing. Typical. Carl says Delgado deserves prison for wearing a red scarf. I mean, that thing was more than a scarf. That was practically a cape. It was like he was wearing half a cape. The guy thought he was a, a, a pirate supervillain or something. It was ridiculous. Let's put this bird into space. But this is going to take us to a new system. And I'm excited. We're locking into orbit now. Okay, so where is this, uh, what's it called? Hydra? Hydra? Something? Oh, way over here. It's the Hyla system. Travel to Hyla 2. It's way past Crix. Never been there before. A level 40 planet. Let's jump. We are, and now we have to talk to Andrea. All right, let's take a look at the planet really quickly. We've got an abandoned mine and ancient ruins. Hello. Do we get an artifact piece here? Abandoned weapon station and Aaron's camp. Should we go to the ancient ruins while we're here? All right, well, uh, Andrea wants to talk to us.
Andrea, where are you going? We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Okay. Note to self, let her speak to him first. I'm not letting you do this alone. Oh, I didn't realize I was so intimidating. I'll take it as a compliment. Are you sure? I'm great at making new friends. Or I'll let you do the talking. Will she laugh if we say this? Or is it not the time for laughter? Let's try it. That is not exactly what I meant. All right. If Aaron really did come here to escape, well, everyone, I would not expect mine to be seen as a friendly face. But it is at least one he will surely remember. <sighs> Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him. What if he opens fire on us? Are we gonna need to worry about him shooting first and asking questions later? Well, she was right. We can see his camp from orbit, so let's go ahead and land and see what's waiting for us. Pretty bountiful planet here. Such beauty in the midst of nothingness. If only we could land during the day. I feel like everywhere I go, I'm always landing at night. And I know I can never enjoy any of the places we go to because I never get to experience them during the day. Defeat the zealots. Oh! He's under attack! Let's go save him! I'm coming, Aaron! We gotta kill the Varun previous. Did I land too hard or was I poisoned or something? I wasn't paying attention to my health. Rachel says, Ox, you could land, then sleep on your ship until day. Yeah, I could. I wasn't paying attention to my health. Doggone it. All right, let's try that again. I think that's the first. Is that the first time I've actually died in combat? I think it might be.
Are you prepared to die? I had just taken a health pack. One shot from the dude and I'm dead. Yikes. Right. Two deaths in this one fight. Hmm. These Varun Zealots are, uh, yikes. I was at nearly full health, too. I had just taken a med pack. Shoddy makes it easier. Well, that's what I get for trying something new. All right, we're gonna quick save. We're gonna let my power power up. Is there a window or something on the roof? Damn, all right. Whatever gun he's got, whatever gun he's got is tearing me up. I was at full health, full health. I'm gonna, I, I just can't get hit. That's it. I just can't get hit by this guy. Be made penitent. Is he running? He's running! He's running! Get back here! He had Where have they gone? Whoa, what? What? He just uh, Xeno Worst? And uh, Assassin's Refined Equinox. What's a Xeno Worst? 
He didn't have any extremely interesting gun. He had a Varun spacesuit and just a regular... Cowards. Assassin's Refined Equinox. He was level 60, but to shoot me with one shot twice? To kill to kill me with one shot twice? Damn. I I thought I saw something. I need to be sure. What is it? Oh, okay. I I don't know what to say. I thought there would be a chance to speak to him. To, to make amends. Or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. What? At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Well, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong. I am sure of it. This cannot all be for... For nothing. What is she talking about? The robot? Or... Is this a grave? Is that a grave? Is that his grave? How does she know it's his grave? It's not inscribed. Alright, well if that's his grave, who buried him? Okay, let's loot. What does your scanner reveal? Nova Blast Disruptor. How did she find the grave anyway? Varun Skip Pack. Nova Blast Disruptor. The space helmet is worse. The robot buried him, says the chat. Yeah, I guess he did. Alright, so the evidence we need is upstairs. made a mess of this place, didn't we? Now that I think about it, this is the second time we've had a weird encounter like this where one guy in the group had a gun that could insta-kill us, and then when we found the guy and we saw the gun, it was normal. It wasn't anything to be afraid of. It was weird. Tale of Two Cities, Suppressed Refined Regulator, Trauma Pack. Mando Cool Cat says, Ox, do you have any Battle Stim or Boudica? I do. I suppose I should have used some chems. Do I have any in that are equipped to my hotbar? Let's see. Let's go to ammo. Nope, not ammo. Aid. I've got an amp equipped. 35% movement speed for two minutes. What's that equipped to? That's equipped to bracket. Boudica. 30% O2 for three minutes. 300 damage resistance for three minutes. I don't have that hot. I've got heart plus. 
20% health for two minutes, 200 damage resistance for two minutes. So it's a, it's a weaker version of Boudicca. The battle stim. 250 damage resistance. Okay, so I had some heart plus, which would have worked really well. I just didn't use it. <laughs> That's I probably should have. Charity in a Godless Universe. I think we read this whole story. Yeah. Old Earth Hunting Rifle, refined, advanced deep core power pack, but I, I want superior, right? It's not better. Aaron Slate. Aaron, I know the last few years have been tough. I know you think we should just hide away from the world, but I can't do that. We lost so many good people, and the monsters that are responsible are still out there. Their fake serpent god won't punish them for what they did, but someone has to, so it's going to be me. I've joined the UC Vanguard. I know you'll tell me that's risky what with our past, but it turns out it's not a problem. Remember how we used to joke about the den being so lax about patrolling? Turns out that works for their background checks too. And now when I find those zealots, I'll have the UC backing me up. They're not getting away. Once I've got my hands on them, we can find out if they've heard of this Thomasar Kadik you mentioned. Man, the names in this game. Mabuti and Kadik. And I'm not even making it up. I'll send word when it's over. Jada. What's that? Varun Scripture 4. Permanently increases sneak bonus by an additional 1% and melee sneak attack damage by an additional 5%. Alright. Varun Heretic Writings. Don't let me forget that I've got those. <laughs> oh dear. Gonna get in trouble. Contraband case. Wow, he's got a lot of heretical stuff. Expert lock, all right. None. Top one, like, hey, all right, a break. Great. Gonna make it easier. So then I can use this here. <clears throat> okay. So let's see. That's for bottom or top. I'm not using it for top. Can't be used. All. Bottom or top. Middle. Well, it's bottom only. Okay. So if we use that for the bottom only, then that means we need to use this for the bottom. And we can use the rest for the middle. So this can be used for the middle. Uh, or... And then this. Okay. <laughs> Stolen artwork, 15,000 and more heretic writings. Wow, five. Holy cow. And succeed at that before we are discovered. Everyone here is dead, Andresia. Just chill out. 
Mr. Jock says, Ox, don't forget you're carrying contraband. You've been reminded. All right. Thank you. Yeah, his name was Mabuti da Costa. And now we've got Mr. Vadek here, or whatever his name is. Just You know they did this on purpose. All right, what is it, Andresia? You found something. Please, let me see it. <gasps> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. If she went hunting zealots, what are the odds she's still alive? For anyone else, I would say the chances of survival are slim. But for Jada... <laughs> she is alive and on a mission. I would bet my life on it. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement, how she would live like a queen. I am not surprised that she would desire revenge, but to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I have discovered something else. Whoa! And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. Um... <clears throat> Aggie said he'd been scared for years. Maybe that's all it is. His fears were well-founded. If the Zealots did indeed come for him. What bothers me, though, is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. Oh, man, that's on me. I should have pronounced it Kadik. Because that changes everything. We could say you'll have to explain this to me. I'm lost. Or you know that name, though, don't you? Or, well, that's certainly a name I don't know. Yeah, let's go. You know that name, though, don't you? Yes, I do. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tommy Sar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Aaron should never have heard of him. Hmm. <clears throat> House Varun doing something shady? Who would have imagined that? Yeah, she probably won't respond well to sarcasm right now. Well, we could say sounds like someone hasn't been telling you everything. Perhaps. He could have reached out directly, but that would be a surprising breach of protocol. We must first make sure that Jada is safe, and perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den. Perfect. I've got contraband. President 99 says, if I'm not mistaken, you have one skill point and spaceship design is waiting to be upgraded. I think you are not mistaken. Hey, I've got two skill points. Spaceship design, or outpost design, or spacesuit design. I've got all these designs that I need to upgrade. <clears throat> oh, I can't even do spaceship design, can I? Because I... No, I did! I did! I installed five unique ship modules. Yay! Allows the installation of superior ship modules. Right. Once I max this out, I won't have to depend upon uh, quest rewards for my ships. I'll be able to make something awesome. But I've got to install 15 unique ship modules. I should have purchased this before I put all the comm spikes on in my last broadcast. So I got one more point to spend. Do I put it into Starship Engineering? Or do I focus on 
payloads would really help. But I'm doing all right in space fights. I really am. I would have completed this one, but targeting mode was bugged in yesterday's broadcast. I could improve scavenging. There's a chance you'll find extra aid items like med packs or chems when searching containers, or tracked resources will get highlighted when using the hand scanner. Oh. Alright. I've already got persuasion maxed. I need to work on this challenge in order to uh, use up all of oh, 50 times. What an awful challenge. It's just an obnoxious challenge. Uh, adds a stealth meter. You're 25% more difficult to de uh, detect when sneaking. Fifty percent more. Well, I don't plan on doing that much more sneaking. Commerce might be interesting. If I max it out... I buy for 20% less and sell for 25% more, but again, money has not been a problem for me in this game. I could start working on combat, particle beams. This, this would be focusing on a weapon type, which I really don't want to have to do. Increases grab jump range. I could upgrade geology, but I really don't need a lot of those resources right now. I could upgrade medicine. I could start on outpost engineering. I know I'm going to need it. You can scan the moons of your current planet. You have a 10% chance to discover a trait when scanning. A ship scanner receives vast amount of data, but it takes a trained mind to effectively, effectively analyze it all. What, what's that? A 10% chance to discover a trait? You can scan any planet or moon in this system. You have a 20% chance to discover a trait. What is that? Or I could start work on spacesuit design. Which I know I need to do as well. Or I could just start on payloads. Ah. Well, I'm gonna want this. Let's do it. Okay, did I loot all the bodies? I don't know if I did. And there's that big barn outside as well. Advanced Razorback. It's advanced 170 damage, really? Well, I should have tried this because I wanted to check it out. That's an advanced coachman as well. 243 damage, fire rate of 47. Yeah, the problem is that the fire rate of my other one is like... 200. No, fire rate of 60. That's... I had 221 physical damage, fire rate of 60. Fire rate of 47, but magazine 2.
And that's the problem with the coachman, the magazine size. Well, how did he die? Did he die to the Varun? If so, how was the robot alive to bury him? That is to say, how did they not destroy the robot in order to bury him? All right, what's in here? Oh, oh wow. Those are some big robots. Are they mechs? <laughs> Was he building mechs? Or are those worker robots? Oh, I didn't mean to loot that. Okay. There's the Star Eagle. But we saw a, um, we saw an artifact or we saw an ancient temple. On this planet, so we should go do it. Advanced Lawgiver, 234. But I don't know if, if it's advanced or superior. I'm not going to start carrying around all these weapons. Too much. All right, travel to the den. What's that? That's unknown. Do you see anything useful? Structure. Okay, let's head back to the ship. All right, chat is saying I missed a super chat. Let me scroll up. Upgrade your ship reactor, says President 99. Yeah, I could do that. Time to leave this place behind. Retro's firing. Orbit stabilized. Now, we saw these ancient ruins. I think I could get a power from this, right? So let's tackle this. Since we're here, you know. Landing struts primed. Retro's firing. Natural Ancient Ruins Life Signs Herding Tongue Faced Razor. All right, I think a ship just landed. Did we just hear another ship?
It's not a power location. Power sites would be an anomaly, says Chad. <clears throat> okay, well then what's an ancient ruin? It's on the middle of an island on this planet? That's interesting. Hyla 1A, Moon of System? What? What? How did I just discover a moon of this planet? I'm so confused. That's Highland 1A. This is an interesting location. That statue. Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? I mean, Andrea's saying something about it. I think it might be important. Ancient ruins discovered. Level 39. And your scan shows... Oh dear, do I walk inside? Mission updated Unity, find the scorpion sting on Hyla 2, talk to Keeper Aquilius? What? Chad is telling me to stop, did I... Did I just advance the quest or something? It's a main quest place. Oh, so I shouldn't be here yet. All right, let's load. Uh, <laughs> let's load my autosave of four minutes ago. Look, <laughs> Technicolor Tube says I think you jumped the gun here, Ox. I didn't mean to. It's on the planet that I'm going to for a quest. I mean, the universe is how big, and I just happened to stumble upon a place that's important to the primary plot by accident without it even being marked. All right. Saving that for later. We'll be back. Lift off looks good, all systems not. I think I just jumped a bunch of quests or something. Mm, looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it? All right. So, she knows where, what's his name is? Dick, Dick, Deke, Deke, right, just pretend that's a Deke. And he's over here in the wolf system, but that's too far. We can't go to Alpha Centauri, we're gonna get in trouble. Uh, okay, we need to go somewhere where we can not get scanned. Let's go to Gooniboo. Colonists here in the... Oh, thank you for responding. We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with, uh, List, and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grab drive is old, like really old, and I'm afraid it's giving up the ghost. Okay, well we had a random encounter just as I was about to jump away. I guess I should sit in orbit around a planet for a bit to make sure no random encounters happen before jumping away. Uh, we could say what is list, but we already know this very well by now. The League of Independent Settlers. They helped us choose a new home, outfitted us, and gave us some good advice. But uh, 
Once you head out, you're kind of on your own. We could say, I have a feeling this is where you're going to beg for help. Or sounds like you're in a tough spot. Or so you're stranded in this system then. And we're just two jumps away from starting a new life. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? Do I even okay. have a lot of iron? Well, it's more than the iron's actually worth. Do I have it? Oh, he, they only need 20. Oh, okay. What exactly is wrong with your grav drive? It's just dead. The whole unit is like a brick now. No power readouts. The diagnostic log only says it's offline. Well, what we can read. I think some of the warnings are in Cyrillic. You know, those <laughs> old Russian letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we can say I can't help you, or we can give 20 iron and say you're in luck. I have the iron you need. That should do us. Thank you. And this should cover the iron, and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. 1,500 credits. All right. Thank you very much, List Colonists. I hope you guys are going to be okay. Excuse me. <laughs> and she's on her way she's gone <laughs> excuse me i'm just gonna make my way over here all right now where were we we were trying to get to the wolf system but it's too far away for us to jump so we don't want to go to alpha centauri where were we going we were going to gunubu i think we can go there without getting in trouble Chat keeps telling me to hijack the ship as if I'm doing a pirate playthrough. I'm not. If the last episode didn't make it clear, I'm not doing a pirate playthrough. Switching over to standard engines. Goonaboo. Let's wait around a little bit just to see if a random encounter happens. No. I'm level 39 now, yay. Okay, no random encounters. So, let's go to the wolf system. always get so excited. It's adorable. The Dan responding to hail. You are cleared to dock. Welcome to UC Space. Good. Okay, how many changes to my ship do I need to uh the shadow of its former purpose? I do not like it either she is here, or someone will know where we can find her. She is still alive. I know it. Okay, well we'll ask around, but first, if you don't mind, I'm gonna work on my Anything ship. Anything I can help you with? We're asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ship. Okay, no problem. Okay, so let's go to upgrade. Let's upgrade, um... I can't upgrade my engines. I still can't upgrade my engines. To upgrade the missile launcher, I need Starship Design 4. To upgrade the pulse laser, I need Starship Design 4. 4. 4. Wow, I can't upgrade anything because I need Starship Design 4. Well, what changes can I make to the ship so that I can blow through this stinking challenge that I got to do?
Build mode on, says chat. Grav drive. Belly. Where's the engines? It's gonna be here. Oh, but those look so cool. Required skills, sharp starship design four. I mean, I don't want to take these off because I wouldn't be able to put them back. There's my shielded cargo. Colors, says chat. Oh, is that how I'm going to do it? All right, let's go to uh, left control. Oh. How do I do color? J. Okay. Did I get credit for that? Did that count? No, it didn't count. Changing paint does not count. Install 15 unique ship modules. Got anything you need to offload? Trade with them. Sure, how about it? How do I go back to what it was? <laughs> that, that orange looks really weird. There you go. All right, 15 unique modules. Uh, I can do another landing bay. No, I can't. Cargo, no. Nope. Can anything fit there? Wow, well, nothing can fit there. All right, I need room. President 99 says you can upgrade the reactor. I'm sure of it. What level of ship you can fly? Cl C class, it works. Maybe this station doesn't have the parts. Look, all I'm telling you is that I, I need Starship Design Rank 4 to have the engines that I currently have, right? I'm sure I could upgrade it, but I don't have the right rank of starship design. So I can't do it right now. Not until I upgrade my skill set. Okay, here we go. I could put a reactor on there. Toroidal reactor. What's that going to do? Power generated 20. Or I could improve my shields. Let's just do something really cheap. Art Pixels says, uh, work on a ship you don't care about, like the prison shuttle, to add lower parts. All right, all right. Fine. I need to register it. 6,000 credits, God, fine. Okay. Let's just put this here. That's a shield generator. <clears throat> Does that count? Then let's put a structural porthole. Now let's drag it away and delete it. Do I have to back all the way out to do it? I probably do. Let's do a porthole. Let's do cargo. Ship cannot be finalized due to errors. Ah. Uh. Ship is missing a shield. 
Reduce mass rad engines to improve mobility. Ship is missing a weapon assignment. But... <sighs> All right. That's 52,000 for that one. You can accept yellow errors, just not red. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see if that did it. <clears throat> three. Yeah, I got three. Now I got to do that a few more times. Need some work done? Sure. How about it? Okay, we've done shields, we've done structural. Let's try cargo. Now that's gonna get us in trouble. Let's try dockers. Nope, now we got an air. Do we already have a docker somewhere? Okay, let's try engines. No. <laughs> let's try. Maybe we can put an engine there. No. Oh. Ship is too heavy to grab jump. Oh. Okay, got to do something light. Why can't I do any weapons? Here we go. Let's do a cannon. Ship has weapons that must be assigned to a group. Yeah, okay. Let's go to weapons. Let's assign the cannon. And then let's put um, a suppressor. Then let's assign the suppressor to that one. All right, and is there like, can I put it? I can't put a weapon there because it's not showing up. Maybe I can still get credit for putting a, a hab or something. A shield and a structural cowling porthole. Okay. Okay, that got me to four though. Crap. I only got credit for four. Did I? No, I got five. All right, so what didn't count? I was at three before. I added two weapons. I guess uh, the weapons didn't count. Only one of the weapons counted. Need some work done? Okay, no problem. Okay, let's go to... Let's try this again. Let's see if we can get more credit. Let's go to build mode. Delete. It's obnoxious that I have to do this just to complete a stupid challenge. That's preventing me from progressing. 
It's just a really bad, bad system. Uh, let's try a different shield generator, and then let's go to a uh, different structural. Let's try... These are all really big. Really big. Can I, oh, that works. Strangely enough, that works. And let's try different guns here. Let's try a laser and a missile launcher. Ah. Oh, weapons need to be assigned to a group, right. Missile launcher and let's go to IR laser. There we go. That should give me four. Yeah, I'm at eight now. No, that only gave me three. No, it did. It gave me four. I'm at nine now. Great. All right, making progress. Do this two or three more times, <laughs> and I'll hey, actually be able to level up. You? Sure. How about it? Okay. Back to the crappy prison shuttle, and let's do it all again. Deleted. 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 And let's go back here. Let's try a different shield generator. That well, that's really expensive. Let's just try something like that. And then let's go to there. And let's try structural again. We could do the porthole. Really, that's the only one that's. Everything else is too expensive. Did that work? No, that's red. So there's only two on here that I could do. Let's do the porthole again. Let's go back here and let's try something else that's cheap. Let's try. Missile launcher, that's three. And then we'll go to uh, Scorch Laser. Oh, that's right. And I gotta finalize them. Go to Weapons, Missile Launcher, Laser. Two more errors. Ship Reactor Class. The ship contains modules that exceed the Reactor Class. The ship has unattached modules. What? Oh. What module exceeds my reactor class? B. A. A. It's this. <clears throat> Noxious. A. Fine, that's the missile launcher. Let's try this Tempest missile launcher. And we can get four more out of that. Yay, three more to go. Anything I can help you with? Sure, how about it? Okay, let's go to build mode. Deleted. 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 Right, let's try something cheap again. Oh, I can't do any of that. And then, just hoping that I don't choose the same ones, let's try this smaller cannon. And let's try this uh, dragon laser. Let's assign the weapons. Let's make this the cannon. Let's make this the laser. Should I get credit for all of those? Accept. Yes! Hooray! I can spend my skill point on Starship Design Number 3. Allows the installation of cutting-edge ship modules. Install 30 unique ship modules. God, why? Oh, I wish I could just install a mod to remove all of the challenges. They're so stupid. Brad Ludwig says, the key may be unique. Never before purchased. Uh, I don't know. I didn't try doing... Well, I, I did a little bit of Starship building when I was at the key. 
I'm not sure if they have the same stuff again. All right, let's talk to Was this guy. Was there something? May I be of service? Let's sell. By all means. Go to miscellaneous. No, that's buy. Well, still, I want to buy those digipicks. Let's go to sell. Miscellaneous. How much does he have? 10,000. He's not giving me the, the correct price for the stolen artwork. Now he doesn't have enough for the Von Rune Heretic writings. Can I sit here for like 24 I hours? I try not to trade in gossip, but if you have any verifiable information, I'm all ears. All right, let me sit for a day. And then hopefully I'll be able to finish. All right, Archer gone. There we go. Laura says, maybe you should just build a new ship from the ground up to get 30 modules. Yeah, that's what I want to do, but I can't do that until I have uh, uh, maxed out my shipbuilding ranks. Like, I want to have all of my ranks so I can build whatever I want, but to do that, I got to go through this ridiculous hoop, this silly challenges. Okay. Yeah. If there's anything I can do, good to see you. Certainly. What? <sighs> I guess I could buy ammo. If I buy it all, sure. Go to sell, miscellaneous. Let's go to buy more ammo. Go to sell, miscellaneous. There we go. That's a little surprising, isn't it? Out here on the edge of the Right, are we ready? You're in the Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your service. I know we're not a priority for the Vanguard or the UC, but it's still space worth protecting. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den. Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. Good to see another Vanguard pilot. You assigned here or just passing through? None of your concern, pilot, or I'm just taking a look around. Right. Okay. Good. Was afraid I'd gotten another transfer without any warning. Nothing against you personally, of course. I'd just like to know who I'm responsible for before they show up on my doorstep. You need anything? Say the word. We're short on luxuries here, but for a fellow Vanguard, I'll do what I can to help. What does the Vanguard do around here? The same thing we do everywhere else. Fill in the gaps for the UC Navy. Help keep the settled systems peaceful and safe. Sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge all the way out here, but we try our best. I wouldn't mind a little more support from New Atlantis, but I know things are tough all over. You see a lot of action out here? Might be counterintuitive, but no. No, we don't. It's pretty quiet, and some of us deal with that better than others. We get the occasional distress call. Sometimes Varun stirs up trouble, but there's a lot of downtime. Speaking of I'm Varun. not complaining, but others, like Bastion there, it's not what he was expecting. Certainly not what he wanted. Has the Vanguard always used this as a base of operations? Oh, gosh, no. Vanguard wasn't even a thought back when this place was first built. The Den, the original Den, mind you, Got blown up during the Serpent's Crusade. UC Navy immediately rebuilt a station. I think largely out of spite. Sometimes I think that's why they keep it operational, too. Certainly hasn't had much real purpose since the Colony War ended. 
I'm glad we have it as a post. And Marcel and the Trade Authority do some decent business, which I try very hard not to pay attention to. <laughs> but the station has never recaptured that old glory. Don't think it ever will, really. No, I mean, the only reason people come here is because of the Trade Authority. I'm looking for Jada Huang. Huang? Really? There are at least three other pilots based out of here I'd expect to receive complaints about first. Before we get started, I have to inform you there's a formal review process for the Vanguard, so don't expect any action for a while, okay? Now, what is the nature of your complaint? You get a lot of complaints about your pilots? Look, this isn't Alpha Centauri or anything. We're a bit removed from the center of the United Colonies. Folks out here are a little less receptive to the Vanguard keeping an eye on things. Um, I'm not here to complain, I just need to talk to her, or it's urgent that I find her as soon as possible, or this has nothing to do with the Vanguard, it's personal. Oh, <sighs> well, that's a relief. Jada isn't here, hasn't been here in a while. In fact, she's, well, she's following up on some sensitive information. Um, uh, I'm not sure I should disclose <laughs> any more than that. What if I said I already know she's hunting down Varun Zealots? Then I'd probably just be wondering how you have any information at all. And I might even be more concerned about your intentions. We could say, we could try to pass a persuade check to say, I know what she's after. I have information that could help her. It's not something I can just blurt out. All right, well, this is surprisingly a difficult one to pass. We've got to pass a six. And the only other options here are ones, really? Come on. All right, let's try to pass the six. I've got a narrow window here, okay? Time's a waste Not my problem. <laughs> All right, uh, are you trying to tick me off? Calm down. Maybe we can work this out. What's the harm if you help me? I hope I can trust you. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? Yeah. I hope so. I suppose it's not the end of the world. Jada came in a bit ago, all fired up over some hot lead. She's been focused on zealots ever since she was assigned here, but this was a whole other level. She was headed out to Groombridge to track them down. Never seen her so fixated. And if you know Jada, that's saying something. If you're headed out that way, be careful. Wouldn't surprise me if she's getting into all kinds of trouble. Groombridge. Okay. Take care. Well, I could have talked to them down there, but I guess I got everything I needed, so... Alright, we're good to go. Brand new system, Groom Bridge. Never been here before. Well, you didn't put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. Unidentified ship. You are not authorized to be here. State your business. Mm. Who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? Well, I mean, she wanted... Andrea wanted to talk to her. What are you doing out here? I was setting up an ambush. But odds are that you've blown it. And my question still stands. What the hell do you think you're doing? Um, I'm here with Andresia. We've been looking for you. You're what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. She, you, you show up here now of all times? Oh, shit, I've got multiple ship 
Ops inbound. Too late to run. Sure hope you're prepared for a fight. Okay. couldn't target parts of the ship. What happened to my game save? Uh, okay, we could say saying thanks for saving your ass would be nice, but apparently we messed it up somehow. We wanted to check on you and make sure you're okay. Andresia is trying to make up for what happened years ago. Let's start with we wanted to see if you're okay. We're talking, which means I'm alive, which means as far as you're concerned, I'm fine. <sighs> Look, my grab drive is fried. I need time to repair, if I can even manage it. You didn't take the opportunity to blow me up. So either that's not your goal, or you're playing some long game. You want to explain yourself? I can't stop you from coming over here. But I'm gonna be armed, and it's gonna be aimed at her head. Just so we're all clear. Understood. Okay, let's loot the wreckages. Let's see what Varun pilots have. Cargo hold full. Really? I don't. How is it full? I thought I saw it just a moment ago and it wasn't full. Okay. All right. Let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Do a hard save here. How? How can you possibly show your face? I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... If this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up. Killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I... I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? That's me. I learned my moves at Neon. It's the pancake flip. It goes like this. Right? Then you do the syrup? No? All right. <clears throat> um, <laughs> we could say, I'm a friend of Andresia's, that's all, or we're just here to talk, or let's all calm down. Let's say we're just here to talk. Yeah? Well, we're talking. How do you think that's going so far? What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. We could say, Andresia was worried about you. We've been looking for anyone who survived the ambush years ago. Or you hate zealots. We hate zealots. Thought we could help each other out. Yeah. Difference is, though, I haven't been working with them. She has. I would never... You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. Told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. 
They knew. Told the zealots where to find us. Whoa. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen. Brad Ludwig says, check your cargo for random stuff. You did just do a bunch of shipbuilding. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, look, you were working with House Varun. Why would they want to kill you? Because we were a loose end. We knew things. Locations, names, they never trusted us. We were just a mess that needed cleaning up. We could say, I don't believe Andresia is involved. This High Council isn't either. Or, if you're so sure of us, then let's see the proof. Convince us. I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar. Thomasar Kadik. That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots. And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No. I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada. I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I've tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. So Something important or just conversation? You think you've won? That's him! That's the bastard responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down! Right! Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both! Get back to your ship! Okay, can I loot? Can I take... Oh, it's all set to owned. Alright, return to my ship. I wanna... I wanna... Can I loot? Oh, look. Is this timed? We're not being timed, are we? I, I can just explore a little bit. There's... I'm, oh, look, look at what other captains keep in their... Cargo holds. Oh. Can I sit here and take it? Can I take the ship? Oh, she probably wouldn't like that if I took the ship. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take your ship or loot your fancy chest here. Right, let's go and, and fight this guy. There's a guy out there. Let's go fight him. He's a bad guy. Let's go. Oh, there's downstairs. Oh. What's downstairs? <clears throat> Got anything interesting down here? Just pillows, huh? I mean, maybe a magazine. Right? Surely you've got a magazine that I can take a look at? No. Pickwick Papers. I've already read all of these books. Why don't you have any books I haven't read? Oh, man. This is going to be a waste of time. And I doesn't have anything in here that I need. Well, just taking a tour of your beautiful ship. I wasn't looting it or anything. Just love what you've done with the place. I smile today in the knowledge that the Great Serpent has truly blessed my ship and my crew. Why else would he have delivered to me complete. the dregs of our purge years ago? The awful that escaped our righteous There we go! My council, who betrayed the charge laid upon them by the great serpent gave you over to us He's still to talking. atone for their sins. <laughs> it always hurts me that you escaped the fate you deserved. <laughs> He's still talking. But now, the serpent sets my mind at ease. Uh -huh. And in his name, I yeah. will cleanse your filth from this universe. I mean, he, she said I needed to act quickly, and I, I acted very quickly, but I think I might have acted too quickly. He's dead. 
Uh, but he kept speaking from beyond the grave. All right. Well. Whoops, whoops. There we go. Sorry, I didn't mean to bonk your ship. Okay, well, you've still got grav drives that need to be repaired, right? We have a clean dock, right on the money. Okay. Just waltzing in here, like nothing ever happened. Unbelievable. After all this time... What, that's it? No more dialogue? I... I do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. It doesn't matter, it's over, we could say. So let's go ask the High Council. Or he seemed pretty sure of himself. Let's say, let's go ask the High Council. That is not an option. Even if we could reach them, you are a non-believer. You would be killed. Something about this does does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. <sighs> I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. <sighs> I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. President 99 says, check your file integrity when you get out of the, the game. Fixed it for me, and I'm level 89. You and your looting instincts breaking the urgent immersion every time, lol. Well, I mean, they leave it up for me. Uh, they, they, uh, they don't put a ticking clock, and I'm glad for that. <clears throat> well, let's see. I'm sure they'd make an exception to clear this up, or to hell with their rules. Or they can't force you to stay away forever. Let's see if they would make an exception. No, you do not understand. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Varun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home unless I am permitted. Oh, she's an exile. They get points for ingenuity, I'll give them that. Or there must be some other way, or sounds like you're being used. It has been deemed necessary for the protection of House Varun. And for generations, it has worked. Who am I to question it? But there is something I can do. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But it means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Well, there's been plenty of danger so far, or I signed up for this no matter what, or I didn't have anything else to do today anyway. Let's try that. <laughs> you do enjoy deflecting situations with humor, don't you? There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. Okay, but her grav drive is out. Are we gonna help her? The two, the two of you have got a lot of goddamn nerve. No, that's, that's it. That's where this part of the quest just ends. We just leave her here? The entire point of this quest is that you left them and you feel guilty. And now we're just leaving her here? Really? Right. Fine. Fine. And we're loose. All right, I'm going to check my cargo hold real quick to see if there's any junk in there that I don't need that I could sell the next time I'm out so I can loot the stuff that I actually want. Oh, man, my mass is over. <laughs> oh, my God. 
How did I get all of this just stuff? Blenders and cubes and look at the 10 pound dumbbells. I've got 18 10 pound dub dumbbells. Just take it up space. 18 10 pound dumbbells. <laughs> I need to find somewhere and just sell. Just sell all this crap. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh. Obnoxious. Okay, where does she want us to go? We need to go to a star station somewhere, and she's not going to tell us where. Oh, we need all the way to Murphid. Murphid. Well, I would go to Crixen Cell, but I kind of blew up. Let's go to Cheyenne. Am I carrying anything bad? I don't think I'm carrying anything bad. I sold it all, right? Let's go to Cheyenne and sell. <clears throat> At Aquila City. Okay, let's sell from, can I sell from <clears throat> ship inventory? Sell from ship inventory. Let's go to miscellaneous. All right, I've got 11 Egmund desk assistants, four copies of the Solar Frontiers game, five copies of Starlock, the board game. I want to keep the antique toy motorcycles because those are cool, but I don't need binoculars, a blender base, a blender jar, a blender lid, a blue flighted dart, three of those, a bottle opener, three bowls, 54 coffee mugs, 54, God, holy cow, eight cutting boards, no, eight cubes, two cutting boards, four cutting pliers, six cylindrical glasses, 10 decks of cards, nine desktop digi frames. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Four globes, 13 desktop organizers. I'm probably gonna empty half of my ship's inventory by doing this. Paper tray, just 18 10 pound dumbbells. Ridiculous. And all because the game auto-generates a bunch of decorations. Every 16 fire extinguishers. <laughs> They've got to do something about that. That's crazy. Why would they do that? That's insane. Food trays, 20 game pieces. Shadow Queen. Snow Lord. Ooh, gold pyramid structure. Grinder. It's, it's not even useful stuff. And I got to go through it one by one because I don't want to sell something I want. Hourglass, humidifier. Am I at H? I'm on H of the alphabet. God, get me to P or something. Impact driver. Do I need those? Kidney dish. Kitchen's a knife. Lamp, lamp. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Ooh. Levitating desk lamp. Oh, I don't want to sell my Los Angeles snow globe. So that's the problem. That's why I have to go through this really carefully. Because I've got stuff in here that I want. Micro vase. My friend Wilby. Four Wilbies. Nine Newton's cradles. Oh my god. 34 freaking notepads. Look at all this. <laughs> 18 notebooks, 23 notebooks, pack of smokes, contemporary cigarettes, 32 pens. None of this I looted. I didn't loot any of this. I mean, it's free money. I suppose I just shouldn't complain anymore.
Ten of clubs. Oh, just, 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 just stop. Oh my god, it's playing cards, playing cards, lots of playing cards. Pliers. Now I like the plushy Gallic tat. I'll keep the Gallic tat, but I'm gonna sell the desk fans. The pots. The pot lids. Oh, one of the retractor. Scalpel, scissors, 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 screwdriver. Five screwdrivers. Loonshan jug. Soil box. Jam and Cohen says, that's all crap that was loose on your ship that was moved to the cargo hold when you recolored one of the panels on your ship. It was an enormously stupid thing that happened. <laughs> I painted my wing and this happened. This is a box of dirt. This is, this is literally just a box of dirt. Why? <laughs> and then succulents. So many succulents. Swabs. A game mat. <clears throat> is that like Twister? Coffee cups. 14 thermoses. Vacuum tape. A Vevictus poster. A true United Colonies hero. I'm going to save that so that I can decorate my house with it. I mean, I, I, I don't like him, but I'm going to save it. Value zero, though. <laughs> They're not going to pay us for it. <laughs> Vice grip. Whiskey glass. Wire spool. Wrench. At least I'm at W. I'm almost there. God. That had better have done it. All right, these are my ship's resources. I could sort by weight. See if there's anything I want to get rid of that's really heavy. A drilling rig? Why do I have these? I don't even need these. Wow, they're, they're worth a lot though. Oh, he's only got 29 vendor credits left. Wow. I just barely did it. I managed to sell all of my miscellaneous stuff and there's he's got 29 credits left. Whew. I don't know why I have all those drilling rigs. I don't remember looting those. Well, we'll have to find someplace else. And because 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 of that glitch, I didn't get to loot any of those ships. That helped. We're at 2273 of 2660. DJ Rose says, I'm curious, what's your opinion on Andresia? And uh, that was uh, DJ Rose's first super chat. I don't really know yet. I, I kind of like her. You know, she's an interesting character in that she's, you know, a member of House for Rune and she's an exile and she's got this complicated history. But because of all of that, she's distrustful of other people and she's kind of quiet and it's hard to gauge what she likes all right let's see what's up there i'm interested to, to see what her personality is going to be like as we get to know her through this quest achieving orbit now Though, I think so far, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in this quest. Um, the writing in this, this latest portion was a little convenient, a little confusing, and they didn't tie, tie up any loose ends. Like the last lady, she's stuck in the water. We have to save her life, but then we can't help her at all? Anyway, um, moving on. Right, we have to go to the Murfrid system, where there's going to be a star station. We've never been to Murfrid before. Drive 
are spinning down. Systems green. All right, there's Murfred. We are at Murfred 4. Let's take a look at the planet real quick. We've never scanned it before. Temperate, climate, average magnetosphere, plenty of flora and fauna. Cool. To the derelict star station. Can't tail it. Art Pixel Green says, on outer hatch. heavy We're resources docked. like that are for outposts. Those and the adaptive frames go fast during building. All right, thank you, Art Pixel. I guess I'll keep them for now. Von Rex says, uh, you can also hail random ships in space and ask to trade with them. If you need more places to sell st uh, stuff, also they have random resources. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Follow me. I will say again, there is danger for you here, likely for us both. I need you to trust me. These stations were built by the United Colonies during the Serpent's Crusade. They were abandoned when peace was brokered. They are an excellent place to hide in plain sight. Looks like she's been here before. I kind of want to explore everything, but no, we got to follow her. Ooh, secret door. Nope, nope, okay, we just talk. Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your weapons at your side. Do not make any sudden moves. Do nothing to appear hostile. What are we walking into here? This is the only place I can get answers. The only connection I have to House Varun. Please give me a moment. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm just gonna meditate. Ooh, secret panel. She disappears. Yay! We got rid of her, chat. We can go. Oh, no, no, not, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say, we can loot. We can loot the place. Yay, we like Andresia. She's fine. We can loot. All right, we'll go upstairs in a second. I'm just gonna see if there's anything around here that's worth taking. This place is a mess. Hey, red stick. Oh, the sound of those slugs is just disgusting. And I hear it way too often. I'm done. I don't want to hear any more slugs. They're gross. We'll go in there later. Let's finish exploring this first. Gosh, everything is so dark. Exotic wood decoration. That's it. All right, let's see what's in that room. Oh.
desktop globe. I'm not going to loot it. I just finished selling all that stuff. Okay, not a lot here. This place has been licked pretty clean. A little bit. Hey, a safe. An expert locked safe. Oh, God. Josh Glover with uh, his first super chat says, Who else wants to see Ox find the swarm? Find the swarm. What is that? I don't want to find a swarm. It sounds gross. Okay. Well, if we put that there. Then that means we're going to need to put this there. And this is for all, all, top only, finally. Here we go. No, nope, we're going to put that there. Which means we need... Uh, but that's too narrow, isn't it? Yeah. That won't work. So if we use that there... Oh, right there. Perfect. Okay, so if that's there, and that's there, and we've got the top sorted... We need to work on the bottom. So that means this is for the bottom. Yep, we could put that there. And then put that there. Okay. Cornered UC Naval Cutlass, Heal Gel, and a Med Pack. It's not even worth selling. I'd rather not go through the trouble of selling it and carrying it around. Okay. That's it. Dude's looking at us. Am I in the right outfit? It seems you have brought someone with you, which is disappointing. Completely against the rules of our arrangement. Do you care to explain yourself before I relay this to the High Council? Commissar. I am not the one who needs to explain himself, Tomisar. I am surprised by your tone. What has gotten into you? This is very unlike you. Almost insubordinate. I know what you have done. The messages you sent. You are not making any sense. Of course I send you messages. That is how this works. That is how it has always worked. Not to me! To the zealots! To the fanatics who murdered my friends, who tried to murder me! You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tomisar. 
You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. I'm just following along. Like, I don't even know what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, I can say, I'm just here for the fireworks, pal. <laughs> or I'm here to support my friend. Something it seems she's been lacking. Let's try that. Insolence! You have corrupted her! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough. Talk some sense into her at once. Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me. Against House Varun. You think you can just keep lying? I have already said this is a misunderstanding. She looks ready to kill you. Or you're in a pretty bad position here. Or maybe being a little more honest would help. But I am. If you let Andreja hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council. To House Varun. Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything. I heard you. I know what it costs me. But he deserves it. Does he not? I, I mean... Why? Like, why? Like, what's the motive? Okay, so we're in this quest, and she has these friends, and then a bunch of zealots appear, and they kill her friends, and apparently it's because this guy ordered them to... But why? What is his motive for doing it? I mean, she's already told us that she can never go back to her home world, right? So, so what if she no longer has access to the High Council? Um, we could say, isn't there some other way? No one else needs to die right now, or if you do this, there are I have consequences. Quiet. I'm thinking. Isn't there some other way? I do not know. Maybe. Maybe if the High Council sees what he has done. Okay. Then show the Council. Let them deal with him. Fine. Consider yourself fortunate. You get to live. This... this is not over. The High Council will hear of your treason. Perhaps they will hear of your actions as well, Tommy Sar. Think on that. Come. Let us leave this place. I wish to return to the Lodge. You will regret this! You think you will leave here unharmed? Well, I'm gonna loot. I'm... <laughs> I've, I feel just that was extremely anticlimactic. They didn't give me enough reason to care, I think is the issue. Like, I just, I haven't been given enough reason to care about him. Like, I'm suddenly trying to beg for his life. I suddenly have to make a life or death decision about this guy because he apparently did something that was against the rules, even though we haven't really seen any evidence of that except for a cipher at the end of a document. But even then, he's saying there was a misunderstanding and we don't really have a motive for him doing it. What's his motive? Cleaning up loose ends? Okay, why do these loose ends need to be cleared up? What happens if, if the council doesn't do anything about it? Like, what if they're in on this? I feel like there's just so many questions that are just unresolved. Okay. So 
So that goes there. And then that goes there. No. Yeah. Goes there, and then that goes there. How quickly can you get that done? Carl says, let her kill him because it's her fight. I mean, yeah. She clearly wants revenge. <sighs> You're overthinking this ox, says Chad. I am. I mean, the reason that I said... Uh, I, honestly, I didn't expect it to end right there. I thought we would have a little bit more dialogue, but no. That was the deciding dialogue option. Uh, I guess the thing is, if there's already one renegade House Varun guy like this... There could be more, right? So their high council needs to know about this so that they can flush the corruption out of their system. Check his pocket, says Bl uh, Brad Ludwig. All right. There will be consequences for your actions here. I assure you. Solstice, spiced worms, credits, and a cartridge. Chad is saying I should kill him to take his clothes. I mean... The Grey Serpent will see you punished for your impudence. Look at this huge map. Look at how big this is. And that's it. Just talking with that one guy. I guess because we talked her down, none of the robots turn hostile? Ooh, we've got contraband. Lots of contraband. Do I bother with the advanced locked safe? None, both, top, bottom. That one nearly solves it. Top. Okay, so that goes there. Well, we don't have what we need to use that. Oh, wait, no, we do. That goes there. All right, so those two for the bottom. And then if that goes there, then we got that that goes there. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, anything for middle only? Yes, that. And that's bottom only. So we put that there, then we need something like that. Nope, that's too narrow. 
There we go. And that's for bottom only as well. Which means the rest can be used to solve the middle ring. So if we put that there. We can put that. Nope. We can't put that there. Put that there, though. We could put that there. <clears throat> uh, Sithgasm says, Hi, I had oxtail soup for dinner last night. I'm sorry. That's okay. I didn't need the tail. Uh, they grow back. So, nom nom nom. Okay, well, uh, she wishes to return to the lodge. Okay. Contraband chats. Oh. Grab jump complete. Can I make it out in time? Can I make it out in time? Come on. Got it. Jump complete. Normal propulsion restored. I thought it had shielded cargo, but it's not on my cargo, is it? Uh, Star Eagle, Star Station. All right, this is where I was. Don't tell me I got to do those freaking locks again. I do, God. Let's try this auto save. Grab Be advised, complete. you are entering United. Co and the auto save is after I arrive here. I wonder. Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. still takes too long. Navigational. How to Cook says you can quickly travel to a moon in the same system. Let's try that.
Grab jump. You Okay, we're, we're at Kurtz. Have I ever been to this moon before? I don't know if I have. <sighs> I haven't. Let's scan it. Okay, yeah. Going to a moon is the key. Right, right, right. Let's go to Wolf. I keep forgetting. Jeez. Will they even have any money? Civilian transport to unknown vessel. Please acknowledge. Goodbye. Crap. Well, I think I missed a random encounter there on accident. Grab drive spinning down. Systems green. Space Pirate Lord says maybe you should get some shielded cargo, Ox. I have shielded cargo. I have them on my inventory because I just looted them. And you didn't even scratch the paint. So they weren't in my cargo hold. They were on my this inventory. This station is but a shadow of its former purpose. I do not like it here. That's a little surprising, isn't it? Out if there's anything I can do for you... Yes, of course. Yep. Oh, man. What did you just... So it's say? 48 hours then? Quiet. There's 24. That was a repeat, Ox. Okay, was that a repeat uh, random encounter? Then I won't worry about it. Just go to the Red Mile, says chat. I mean, I could, but it's going to take me just as long to wait these two days as it is to, to navigate all the way to the Red Mile. There's one. I try not. It's like watching paint dry. Go get another drink, says chat. Good idea. I'll be right back. <laughs> to trade in gossip, but if you have any verifiable information, I'm all ears. I really did think this place would see a bit more action. And there we go. Good to see you. May I be of service? By all means. Let's go to sell. Ah. Oh. Almost. Let's go to buy. 
Say, um, ammunition. Okay, let's go back to sell. There we go. Well, now he's got 10,000. I should have just done that at the beginning. <laughs> oh, well. Mando Cool Cat says, Someone mentioned the swarm earlier. The swarm is a part of a random slash procedural dungeon that can be found in frozen biomes. Okay, cool. Pressure normalizing. Undocking complete. Back to Alpha Centauri. It's always dark. Again, who do you think will be the first to ask us questions? Mateo or Noel? If you want to talk, make it quick. I think I'm late for Noel's science lesson. Where are we going? must be her room if there is something I can do please say so did I not loot this room <clears throat> two inaccessible cases thank you for coming back here with me I fear that after all that has happened I am unsure of my place in house Baroon this room may now be the only place I have left to call home. We could say, whatever happens next, we'll face it together. Don't jump to conclusions. You don't know what will happen. The Lodge will always be here for you. We all will. Let's say we'll face it together. It is reassuring to hear you say that. But still, I do not know how to live without some connection to House Baroon. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? <clears throat> well... You don't need House Varun. You have a family in Constellation. Your connection to the Great Serpent was never through Tomasar. It's still there inside you. If House Varun abandons you now, they're making a huge mistake, or you need to just forget all about this, put the past behind you. This, I think, would be the best. Yes, that is true. Whatever else has happened or will happen, the Great Serpent still holds a purpose for me. You have been by my side through all of this, the most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me, faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. Friendship or romance? We could say that's what best friends are for, isn't it? Or we can say I'll always be there for you. I love you. Uh, well, that is... I am sorry. I need a moment. Uh-oh. I admit this is a surprise. I did not quite realize you felt this way about me. But... If you mean it... My feelings are not so different from yours. I am afraid, though, that it cannot be. I am not willing to share you with anyone else. And what? you are 
already in a relationship. Oh no! I could, however, use a best friend. Oh no! And I think he would fit that role very well. So if we are to be best friends, then I shall do everything I can to be there for you. In the way that you have for me. <laughs> How can I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? Oh no! Oh, I'm so bummed! I mean, we were able to romance both Sarah and Sam with no repercussions. Divorce Sarah. I never married Sarah. That's the thing. I never committed to anyone. I didn't commit to Sam. I didn't commit to Sarah. I'm just romantically involved with both of them. But Andrea, Andresia, she doesn't even want that. She's like, no, nope, you got to end it. Can I? <laughs> you got to dump Sarah, says the chat. Oh, God. This is brutal. I thought I could just be, be this... Freewheeling ladies guy in the universe, just, every, just romancing all the ladies. But no, I got a pick. I want, I want her loot. Can I? Can I? Can I can't. I can't open her chests here. She will not share, says chat. But Sarah will, I guess. I guess that means that Sarah knows that I'm dating Sam as well. She doesn't care. Xavier says, no, there's a way to keep them both. Do tell. What did I do wrong? Taskmaster says, if you started with Andrea, you could have had... Oh. Is that the way it works? I had to start with Andrea? What if I dump Sarah? <laughs> Oh, I would have had to have romanced Andresia first. That's a bummer. I mean, I'd have to backtrack. I'd have to go all the way back. Why didn't you guys tell me? You could have told me that I had to do an, a, a, a romance Andresia first. Technicolor Tube says, I married Andresia, then started dating Sarah. Andresia got mad, but one persuasion check and I was able to have them both. <laughs> Is that all it takes? A persuasion check. Oh, man. How annoying. Could I, tr could I try again? Like, if I go and dump Sarah now? I, I, we're all talking about Sarah, but I'm romantically involved with Sam as well. Would I have to dump Sam too? Do I have to go dump Sam and Sarah to get Andresia? Then can I go get them back? And <laughs> Or would they say no? Can I do this all in the lodge? Are they here? <laughs> oh, that's so oh, annoying. Locked in with Sarah. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, dear God. <sighs> Pisses me off. I have been idle here for a long time. I believe Barrett would describe this state as Bored. Poor Vasco. That pisses me off so much after everything. After, I well, hope Katri isn't sending you on some fool's errand. I mean, at least we got the quest, but it was such a boring quest, too. All right, let me do a save here. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Let's see, do I have... 
both Sam and Sarah aboard the ship. Ready to get back out there. There's Andresia. She's sleeping awkwardly. <clears throat> Where's Sarah? There she is. She's sleeping awkwardly too. Time to break some hearts. Thanks for giving me a moment of your time. I promise this won't take long. Oh, what's this? I thought you deserved to know how proud I am that you chose to side with the United Colonies and put an end to the Crimson Fleet. You've almost single-handedly saved the settled systems from one of its most dangerous enemies. I can't possibly commend you highly enough. <clears throat> I thought you didn't care about the United Colonies anymore. Did I mislead you into believing that somewhere along the way? Though I ended my service with the United Colonies years ago, I continue to remain vigilant as to what's going on within its borders. Anything that has a positive effect on the UC sends an equally positive effect through Constellation. That's high praise coming from you, Sarah. Uh, well, I'm not sure I deserve that, but I appreciate it all the same. What I want to know is what motivated you into making the right decision. You had Crix's legacy in hand, and you could have easily taken it to the key. Instead, you flew it to the Vigilance. I didn't want to let you down, or I have to be honest, it was a close call. I didn't want to betray Commander Akande, or I couldn't allow the Crimson Fleet to become stronger. Yes, that would have been unfortunate. The Crimson Fleet would have had enough wealth to fund their operation for decades. So, no regrets betraying Delgado, then. I imagine you and he formed quite a partnership right up until the end. Delgado wasn't so bad. Life simply def uh, dealt him a bad hand, or Delgado was a decent person, but unfortunately he surrounded himself with the wrong pe people. Or I'm glad Delgado's in prison, where he belongs. Agreed. With Delgado safely tucked away in a UC prison, Things will certainly be quieter in the spaceways for a while. I suppose my final concern is how long this newfound peace will last. Um, we'll never be rid of the Crimson Fleet, or a short while at least, or I'm sure that that's the last we'll ever see of the Crimson Fleet. Well, I doubt that it's going to get rid of them at all the, at, uh, completely, but a short while at last, at Perhaps. least. Perhaps. My only concern are the reports that Navamora was never captured or killed. My hope is that she was smart and went into permanent exile. I suppose only time will tell. Yeah. Oh. Well, it appears I've soured the mood of our lovely conversation. Yeah, not I trust my <laughs> mindless prattle hasn't been too much of a bother. Well, Sarah, I mean, there's... there's <laughs> Thanks for uh, taking the time to listen. Yeah, there was something I wanted to say. Um, I'm going to do another hard save right here, just so we don't have to go through that conversation again. Sarah? Back, eh? How's it going? Um, how are you feeling about our relationship? Oh, it, it, it's difficult to put into words. Being with you is like, well, a dream come true. Oh. Well, I hate to say this, <laughs> but I don't think our relationship is working out. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, nothing. Never mind. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Or, um... <clears throat> I, uh... I think we'd be better off as friends. Oh. I see. You know, I threw everything inside me into this relationship. Oh. 
I really gave it a chance. Oh, no. But if ending what we have and remaining good friends is what you want, I respect your decision. Oh, with a snip. So, how are you feeling about our friendship? We have an amazing rapport that's not only enhanced my life, but oh. made me a better person. That's great. Um, I'm so happy to hear that, Sarah. Anytime you want to talk about our friendship, I'm here for you. Great. Um, I think I'm done? Hope we can talk later. Ah, much later. Hey, and, oh, what are you doing stuck in there? Come on. Hey, snake lady. Mind if I slither on next to you? Ah, a face I never mind seeing. How are what you can feeling? I do for you? About our friendship. I have never been able to truly count on someone, no matter what. I'm still getting used to it. What if this was more than just friendship? What do you mean? I mean that just being friends isn't enough for me. I love you. I see. I wondered when we might have this conversation. <laughs> I admit this is a surprise. I did not quite realize you felt this way about me, but if you mean it, All right. my feelings are not so different from yours. And? I am afraid, though, that no! it cannot be. Oh, Sam! I'm not willing to share you with anyone else, and you are already in a relationship. All right. I could, however, use a bit. So, if we are to be best friends, yeah, best then best I best shall best. do everything I can to be there for you. We'll be best friends forever. How can I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? Why are you feeling sorry for yourself? What? All right, Sam, I gotta dump you. Where, <laughs> where are you, Sam? I gotta dump you. I'm gonna dump you right in front of your daughter. Ooh, this is gonna be painful. Where? Where'd he go? Where are you, Sam? I put you aboard the ship. Sam! And maybe if I exit the ship and then enter the ship again. Yeah. Do you have a favorite restaurant here? Mine is currently Whetstone, but it changes. Alright, he should be back now, right? Okay, Sam. Time to break your heart. Where'd he go? Rhea. If you need something, Sarah. I've got your back. Where are you, Sam? Do I really have to fly away for him to appear on the ship? Oh, Sam. You, you're um. <laughs> You're something else. You are straight out of one of those film noir novels. Working undercover and thwarting the bad guys. Oh, I gotta have this conversation, right? Just walking right. around the key makes I don't want to have this How'd twice. How'd you pull it off? Oh, I gotta go through this. Stupid. All right, I'm not gonna go through all this because... Says Steph put us in... I want to be able I mean, to have it on the recording. Commander Condit. And ultimately... So we're just going know. through it really quickly. I just wanted to say, but this... I can't wait for it. Okay, so let's load my hard save here before I broke up with Sarah. Because I gotta get Sam on the ship so that I can go through both of their dialogues about the latest quest that I've been on. And then I can save again, and then I can break up with both of them so that I can reload that save if something goes wrong. Alt Grendel says, Ox, you're just a heartbreaker. I know, I'm, I'm awful, aren't I? I'm just experimenting. I'm trying to see what what I can do. Like, what does this game let me do? I need to exit the ship. Bright lights and reflections are almost enough to make you forget about those living down in the well. Then re-enter the ship. Let's get up.
And now we can get the dialogue. Sam, Sam, tell, talk to me. Ready to tackle whatever the Starfield throws at us. You are straight out of one of those film noir novels. Working undercover and thwarting the bad guys. <laughs> Just walking around the key makes my skin crawl. How'd you pull it off? The decisions I had to make were terrible. I'm glad it's over. I pulled it off, that's all that matters. Or I just took on the role. Buried my real personality down deep. I was scared out of my mind, to be honest. Let's say I'm glad it's over. Sistef put us in some shitty situations, that is for certain. I mean, don't get me wrong, helping Sistef was never on my bucket list. Commander Akande, he really wasn't as much of a tight ass as I was expecting. And ultimately, he had you back, so I guess here's to Sysdef. We could say Sysdef was the lesser evil. It's simple as that. I would have helped Sysdef voluntarily had they given me the choice. I had the choice. This entire quest is, is written from the perspective of you getting locked in the brig and then getting roped into Sysdef that way. But that's not what happened. I, I joined the UC Vanguard and then got the quest. So... It, if they're not going to tailor the quest for that particular eventuality, why give it to me? Well, we'd say I'd happily work with Akande again, or thanks for your support, Sam. Let's try that. <laughs> oh, shucks. Well, this victory, really, it's all you. I just wanted to say, when we first teamed up, I had a good feeling about you. But this, you really helped people. Helped everyone. I can't wait for our next adventure. All right, let's save. <laughs> you know, you have a hell of an effect on people around you. Uh, I can't talk to him about our relationship. I like where this is going. What? I never tire of your company. It's a strange feeling, knowing you're living through some real history. You better believe it. Enjoy. Uh, maybe he needs to be my active companion. It's about time. I miss the company. Mm, such a shame. I'm afraid we have had all the best adventures already, Sam. No adventure? Well, we'll find some hijinks then. Maybe a shenanigan or two. Okay. I'm ready to make some waves. <laughs> uh, we can flirt. Oh, I like the sound of that. Uh, <laughs> no way to break him up. Break up with him. Hold on a second. Can Might we break be, up with him? I feel the same. <laughs> I'm so coy. But you have no idea how madly in love with you I am. Oh, dear God. Personal questions? Ask away, my love. My love? I'm not, I don't want to be maloved. We can't break up with him. Come on. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> we can't break up with Sam. There's no, what's, what? <laughs> this game, why? Just, I can break up with Sarah and she's devastated. I can't break up with Sam. So I can never get Andrea. Because I already broke up with Sarah, and she won't join me now. She, she wants to be my, my romantic partner, but she can't because I'm with Sam. But now I can't break up with Sam? You have to break up with Sarah, then go far enough with Sam and break up with him then. I'm already with Sam. Like, I can't be with Andrea because I'm already with Sam. I broke up with Sarah. She's out of the, the picture now. It's just me and Sam, but I want Andrea. So I'm trying to break up with him, but I can't break up with him. I'm so annoyed. Wait a few days and the dialogue will show up, says lovesick. Really? Do we do this? Are we gonna do this again? This is gonna be the broadcast where I just sit, sit and wait days. This is the waiting days broadcast. I'm gonna wait a couple of days. Maybe Sam's dialogue will change and I can break up with him so I can get Andreja.
Darth Luke says, I'm only on episode 18. I'll catch up. Hope you're having fun. Have a great day and keep being you. Thank you, Darth Luke. I appreciate it. I hope you're able to catch up. Art Pixel says, Andresia's quest is a little more interesting with a Serpent Embrace player character. You get extra dialogue. Oh, now that would be interesting. Sadly, I didn't have that. All right, wait another day. Ollie says, Ox, did you finish Sam's relationship quests? You have a quest to talk to Korra. Oh, um, no, I didn't. I've been avoiding that because, you know, we have to talk to Korra before we, like, become a couple. That was the thing. Like, <clears throat> Sam wanted to become a couple, but he wouldn't until we talked with Korra about it and told her about our relationship. This is going to be awful because if we do break up with Sam, what are we going to tell to Korra? What are we going to say to his daughter? <laughs> this is just brutal. I don't like any of this anymore. I wish I never romanced Sam. I wish I never romanced Sarah. Because breaking up with him is too painful. It's just, <laughs> it's just too awful. Okay. All right. Maybe that did it. Let's see if we can find Sam. Hey, if you need something, happy to lend a hand. No, we can't. We gotta finish the. We gotta have that conversation with Cora, don't we? <sighs> All good things, right? Let's go to the Star Eagle. Let's make sure that uh, Andrea is assigned to the Star Eagle. All right, and then we've got Sarah and Sam all here. All right, where's Cora? Activities talk to Cora Co. You just had the option, says Mowgli. No, I didn't. Watch. Some folk never leave their hometown. I can dismiss him as a companion. I can trade gear. I can ask him personal questions or I can flirt. I can't ask him about our relationship. You want to talk to me again? You know where to find me. And it's the asking about the relationship dialogue option that allows us to dump him. Yes? You need something? So we can't. We gotta talk to the daughter first. Hello! Which is awkward as <laughs> heck. Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. Alright, uh, we've already been through all this dialogue. Why is it not grayed out? Look, I need to discuss something important with you about Sam and I. Good. I've been wanting to ask you something, too. Me first. Why did you help us out with Mom? It was super dangerous. Why do you need to know? Even Dad barely agreed to help me out, and he's my father. I just don't know why... Why you'd do so much for us. Uh... I could say because I care for you and your father a great deal, or I could tell that Lillian was in trouble. I had to do something. Let's do that. It was pretty obvious something was really wrong. What are your intentions with my father? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> this is so bad. Excuse me? You heard me. Your intentions. Now. Yes, ma'am. Um, we could say I'm not sure yet. Um, well, don't tell Sam yet, but I want to marry him. I mean, I, I really don't, but I, I'll just say, well, I care for him a lot, and that's true. Good. Just so you know, I like you too. Dad's never been happier. Well, we've never been happier. So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, <laughs> you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? Right, um... Oh, okay. <laughs> we could say I could never replace Lillian, but maybe one day, or this is so awkward, or your blessing means the world to me. I'm going to go, this is so awkward. Communication is the key to harmony. That's what Sarah told me. Right. Well, that I guess that went well. <laughs> Sam, Sam, are we a couple now so I can dump you? How does this work? So how'd the talk with Cora go? Um, what? Was I supposed to talk with her about something? 
Yeah, good one. For real, what did she say about us? <laughs> uh, she signed off, and you owe me for that talk, or she says we're good for each other. You're not the only co I care about. Or I got her blessing. It's just Her blessing. blessing. <laughs> Cora in her Jane Austen novels. I keep thinking back to what you were saying, that we're lucky. I don't know. Luck is uh, too small a word. With so many people out there, the odds of well, finding you feels like uh, destiny. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying to play it cool. But you got to know. I'm crazy about you. You're not making and, this easy, Sam. Well, <laughs> how do you see this playing out? I gotta get him to the point where we're romantically involved and then I can dump him. I don't wanna commit to him yet. What I'm what I'm wanting to do, listen, listen, this is the strategy. Let me explain what I'm trying to do. I wanted to get all of the companions up into the point of commitment so I could save and then do a lore video on each one. It doesn't make sense for me to replay the game from the beginning again and re- uh, redo the affinity for every character individually. I want to get them all to the point of marriage, save, and then record the entire marriage segment so that I can do that for the lore video. But then reload my save so I can go to the next companion and then marry that <laughs> companion. I guess we're having a good old-fashioned staring contest. But if it's not going to let me do that because Andrea says that I've had, you know, I'm, I'm in another relationship, then it ruins my plans for my, my, uh, my companion lore videos. That's why I'm frustrated. Okay, we could do the commitment route and say, I see sharing our whole life together forever. We could say, I see us wildly, madly in love and enjoying every minute of it, or I don't know, but it'll be fun uh, finding out. Let's just say wildly, madly in love, if I can hold down my own vomit. How am I the only one that feels almost guilty? <sighs> so many people have got problems and all. And me, I get to be with you. I'll see you later, love. All right. Okay. Can I dump him now? Heaven is having a smooth running ship with a there crew we go. of friends. How do you feel about our relationship? Catch up with you later. So there we go. Uh, so it was it was kind of kind of a bug. I had gotten far enough with him that she needed me to dump him, but I hadn't gotten far enough to the point where I could dump him. So let's try dumping both of them. Let's do a hard save here. Let's see what she says. If I can. Hey there. Glad to see you again. How are you feeling about the relationship? You're the most important thing in my life. I value every waking moment we have together. And the quivering in her voice and all of that. Well, let's say this isn't working. What are you trying to tell me? I'm saying I want to be friends. Oh. I see. I don't know why you suddenly feel this way. But if ending what we have and remaining good friends is what you want... I respect your decision. Okay. We should get a drink sometime. Oh, and she wants to get back in the saddle. All right, Sam, Sam, I got to dump you. I'm sorry, Sam. I got to dump you. Never quite had a friend like you. Uh, how do you feel about our relationship? The only person I've ever really loved is Cora. And then I met you. Yeah, um, I don't think this is working out. You're not serious, are you? I just can't keep doing this. We, sh <laughs> we should just be friends. Wait, you serious? I mean, I just want you to know that I would do anything for you. But if we're not on the same page here, then I'll deal with it. I care about you too much to have you out of my life. So I guess, yeah, we'll just be friends. Another time then. Okay, that was awful. That was awful, awful, awful. Andrea, where are you, Andrea? Uh, where'd you go? Oh, hey, kid. Hey. Hi. She has nothing Bye. to say. Nothing to say about it. That's great. Okay, finally, finally. Hello, excellent to see you. Friendship? We are still good friends. Are we not? Has something changed? 
Yes, a lot has changed. I don't want to get into it, but it involved loading numerous saves and breaking a couple of hearts. Look, what if this was more than just friendship? What do you mean? Well, we've already had this conversation, but romance... I see. I wondered when we might have this conversation. <sighs> I admit this is a surprise. I did not quite realize you felt this way about me. But... If you mean it, uh -huh. my feelings are not so different from yours. Okay. We must be clear on one thing from the very beginning. Uh. I do not share. If you are mine, then you are mine alone. No one else will come between us. Okay. If that is not a commitment you are willing to make, I understand. But I will not compromise. So there's no casually dating her. There's just, we go straight into commitment. Um, you can casually date Sam and Sarah, but you can't also casually date Andrea. You gotta, you gotta go straight into the commitment. Are you sure this is what you want? Oh, I am quite certain. Do not doubt my intent. Ooh, she wants to get her fangs into me. All right, okay. Uh, well, okay, I'm all yours for as long as you want me. Then truly nothing can stop us. We will be a force to be reckoned with. You have brought a joy to my life that I could not have imagined and could never have expected. With you at my side, love, I look forward to everything that comes next. Yay, let's go to bed. Another day, another credit, as my daddy liked to say. What, nothing? Nothing? Eager to help, if I can. All right, let's get back to it. Well, I, I, I don't understand. Let's, maybe we need two hours. Galaxy ain't gonna conquer itself. Sam, I'm not sleeping with you. <laughs> Where's Andrea? She's my partner now. I always enjoy these moments. Okay, I can flirt with her. <laughs> I know that tone. Very well. What is it? Oh, she's not my active companion. Right. Okay, so these are the flirting options. Oh, we could say, uh, you have the most beautiful eyes. I get so lost in them. Thank you, dearest. You are not so bad yourself. I know I'm a bit tubby. But... All right, uh, let's head back out. Of course. Are you ready? Yes. Looks like it's tag you're in, Andresia. Tag indeed, Sam. We will see you later. All right, now let's get that rested buff. A lot on your mind? Last night was enlightening. I hope to... Uh... Learn more next time. And I awaken with a newfound sense of emotional security. Okay, can I get Sarah back now? Important. If you want help, I'm here. Friendship? It's reassuring to know I have someone I can depend on by my side. What if I said I wanted to be even closer to you than before? Wait, what exactly are you saying? Romance. Ha! Huh. <sighs> Sorry, I... I, I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. Take your time. From things you've said in the past, it's obvious you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. Uh-huh. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone uh, like all me... All right, we could get her back. Then I'm ready to do the same. And what does Andresia say about this? Uh, all right, I've been more than willing for a long time. You're something truly special. Andresia yeah. is angry with me! You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I feel complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. <laughs> oh, no. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. Okay. I love you. Wrap it up. Always. Come on, wrap it up a bit. I have 
things to discuss. Yeah. Think yeah. very carefully before you speak. Oh, oh, were you standing right there? Did you did you hear that, Andresia? I'm sorry, were you too close? Uh <laughs> have you lost your mind? Is there even a mind to lose? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I'm not in the mood for this. Or, hey, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, we can fix it. Or, I have no idea what you're talking about. Or, I think you need to take a breath and calm down. Let's say, hey, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, we can fix it. Do you even understand what you have done? Did we not agree that what we have is something special, unique, that it would stay between us? that our hearts belong to one another and no one else. Uh-huh. Did we say that? I'm trying to remember. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're really gonna be like this? You cannot seriously be surprised. I told you that if we were going to be together, it was going to be just the two of us. Everyone else is okay with the situation. <laughs> I do not care how everyone else feels. I have made my feelings very clear to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we, we could pet you a second chance. I will be better, I promise you that, Andresia. Or we could pass a persuade check. Or it seems like it's a good idea to put some distance between us. Or can't we just forget about this and move on? No, let's pass the persuade check. What is there to say? Menage tres. What? Menage trois, two, right? Menage tres, is that what it is? Okay, it's not too bad. It's only a four. We could say, um, a lot of things here. You know, there's more to me than whatever mistakes I've made. I do know that. I am trying to look past what you have done, but it is difficult. <clears throat> um, give me a chance to show you I can be better. I do not know. I hope it would be worth it. I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. Maybe so. I am going to do my best to get past this and continue our journey together. The next time we arrive in port, I am leaving. What? It would do you well to reflect on how you arrived here and what you want from your future. I know I shall be doing the same. What? I passed the check. It didn't work. So, Take credit for your thoughts, you as they say. How are you feeling about our relationship again? You are competent in a fight and pleasant to look at. What is not to love? Oh, it's working. Okay, I'm confused. She, she just walked away saying that when we next get into port, she's walking away. She stays, says the chat. Technicolor Tube says that it's a bug that she stays. Oh, people are saying that the dialogue check was so that she wouldn't kill me. <laughs> okay. Well, I can still have commitment with her. And I can still break up with her. Did do you need a moment? I just like to hear it every once in a while. Then I shall be sure to say it more often. All right. A shame that there is not more to discuss. So can we get Sam back too? Hello there. Hey kid, I don't want to talk to you right now. This is a uh, grown up talk, right? <laughs> All right. It's a rare thing to know that right here and now might just be the best days of your life. All right, Sam. Never quite had a friend like you. I want you back. Uh. How are you feeling about our friendship? Hey, you're the best friend a guy could have. Hope the feeling's mutual. What if I said I wanted more? Are you... What are you getting at? I love you, Sam. Head over heels. Well... I, uh... Whew. I figured we had something. Some chemistry. Some very real chemistry. <laughs> I, uh, whew, wow, that came out of nowhere. This is a big step. I mean, we've been here before. A huge it's, step. It's not that big. If we do this, 
I want you to know I want the whole package. <laughs> Candlelight dinners, walks on the beach, the whole kid and caboodle. You... You want that too, right? Oh, yes. I want all of it. That's what I said last time. This time I'll say, I will hold you to that promise and cuddles too. Hell yeah. The whole thing ain't worth it without that. She's angry with you me again! You are the single best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. And later on, maybe I'll show you just that much. <laughs> She's angry again! We must talk soon. Have you lost your mind? Is there even a mind to lose? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You cannot possibly mean that. <laughs> Did we not agree that what yeah, we yeah, have yeah, is yeah. We can make it work. Perhaps you can be comfortable with it. But I made it completely clear to you that this is unacceptable. All right, so there's the second chance at the top. I don't know what that means. Is I don't, I don't have a perk or anything that's called second chance. I'm going to try and persuade her again. What is there to say? I'll do whatever it takes to restore your faith in me. And what if it is too late for that? Okay, I'm going to do an auto persuade. I suppose that is true. I have my own faults. I am going to do my best to get past this and continue our journey together. The next time we arrive in port, I am leaving. It would do you well to reflect on how you arrived here. And what you want from your future. I know I shall be doing the same. <sighs> okay, but... It is pleasing to speak with you. How are you feeling about our relationship again? <laughs> do you need to ask? Do I not make it clear how much I care about you? I am so confused. I can break up with her again. I can get commitment with her again. Then I shall be sure to say it more often. Okay. Take care of yourself. So, let's see. Do I have both options with Sam? Some folk never leave their hometown. How do you feel about our relationship? Uh, I think it's all right. <laughs> I kid, I'm kidding. I love you. I'll shout it across the galaxy if you need me to. There, we've got commitment and we've got the breakup option. <laughs> you just like watching me squirm. Whatever you need. <clears throat> now let's check Sarah. I want to make, before I do a hard save, I want to make sure that I, I can continue with commitment for all three of them for the lore videos that I plan to do later. Happy to listen. How are you feeling about our relationship? Meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to me. All right, we're still together. We can have a commitment and we can break up. Pleased to hear that, Sarah. Good. Anytime you want to talk about our relationship, just let me know. All right. God knows you've done that enough times for me. Okay. You be careful, okay? I think we're good. We're turning this into a little hippie commune aboard the starship. Present 99 says, Ox, just in case here, do you have a color filter in your glasses? They aren't green or blue, you know, lol. This is going to be an interesting lore video with you. A shotgun with Andrea, possibly dead, lol. She'll kill me. She's going to kill me one of these days. I'm so dead. <laughs> Always a Let's pleasure. see. She threatened to leave next time we were in port. Well, let's disembark and see what happens. Oh no! Oh no! Don't ship. I must not have gotten her back as an active companion. 
Let's, uh, let's get her as an active companion. And then take her out into port and see if she leaves. Somehow I must have lost Resica. I bet you that by uh, starting a committed relationship with one of the other characters, I lost her as a companion. Then I hey, passed. If you need something? Happy to lend a hand. And just what is on your there mind at this moment? Are you ready to head back out? I have sharpened the blade for this very occasion. Just in case we need it. Okay, and there was no one else as my companion. Okay, now let's leave and see if she sticks with us after all of that. Authority here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. Okay. Okay, I think we're okay. I'm here for you, should you need me. We will speak again soon, I hope. All right, I think we're okay. <clears throat> now we have a bunch of other crew members, but I don't think that we can become best friends or romantic partners with any of them. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, Andrea, Sarah, Sam, and Barrett are really the only companions that we can get that have um, that much affinity that we can explore. Let me know if that's not the case. Oh man, that uh, that took up a lot of time. That took up way too much time. Let's see what's next. Uh, that's correct, says Crosmar. All right, only four, says Chat. Tell you what, let's use the last uh, fifteen minutes or so to visit the landmarks on Earth. Mister Jock says so. You can't romance Amelia Earhart. I guess not. That's a little disappointing. But all right. Dust off complete. Deuteronomist says, wait, so that was it? Is Andreja's personal quest over after we talked to the one Varun guy? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. It's nothing like it in orbit. A little disappointing, right? I mean, with Sarah, we go to a, a new planet, we find the, the crashed spaceship, we rescue the kid, we take her back to the lodge, we got this whole cool, really interesting thing going on. And with Sam, we meet his ex-wife and we help her with her mission and we go to the facility and we rescue her and then we, uh, we go to the trap and it's a really cool mission. With Andresia, we fly to a star station and tell a guy that he's bad. He's a naughty, naughty Varun guy. He's naughty. And that's that's it. That's the entire quest. <clears throat> so, yeah, a little disappointing. Gotta say. And she had the potential to be really interesting. Like, I was starting to dig her her story, you know, being with the Varun and, you know, having the zealots after her and then all of that. But then her personal quest was just a really, a bit of a disappointment. Okay, let's, uh, we need to go here to Osaka, but let's go to Dubai first. It's dark. Again, it's dark. I'm going to have to sleep until daylight. How many hours am I going to have to sleep? Oh, it's, it's always dark when I come here. Where's the ship? For Pete's sake. Well, we're here. Here we are at Dubai. Oh God, of course. There's my ship. Ooh, 
Tippy taps. Interesting that the footsteps are different between first person and third person mode. Brian Dawkins says, I like how this is turning into Tales Out of Playboy. <laughs> I'm going to bring him back to the mansion. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to kill these Starborn guys. If we can find them. Okay, this is the second time that a Starborn ship has landed and the Starborn did not come out and fight me. Remember when I was doing the, the quest on um, uh, the list quest? Remember when I was doing the list quest? There was a Starborn ship that landed there too. Oh. Need and a I, moment to walk that off. And I went to the ship and no one came out. There was no one there. And it's the same thing. It's happened twice. Why aren't the Starborn coming out to fight me? Huh. Maybe they walk towards my ship? Take the ship, says chat. I can't. You can't take the starborn ship. I looked at the door, and the door was inaccessible. So you can't actually take a starborn ship. All right, well, to come back and shoot the starborn, we managed to, to walk all the way back to our ship. So let's go and um, wait until daylight so we can actually get some good photography. And then go get the snow globe. Local time, 7, 21, uh, all right, so we need 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Last night, well, all that physical training seems to have paid off. Glad you're happy. I had to work for it. Seriously, you've you've you're you've been a lot of work, Andrea. <laughs> hey, all right, we're at Dubai, and it's day. Hooray! Nice. Wow, 
Wow, how am I going to get this tower in there? No, I'm going to have to go back out, back out. There we go. Even then, it's not going to be... It's so tall. Right, let's go get that snow globe. It's so cool that they include this. But it does leave a lot of questions. Dubai snow globe. There we go. And nothing on the horizon as far as the eye can see. I find the interior of this ship comforting. All right, let's go to the next one. Lifting off now. Everything looks so pretty up here. We're in orbit. Okay, we need to go to Osaka. And it's still daylight. Okay, there it is. And some of the Starborn are gonna land again. Uh, I need to track the right quest so I can actually find the snow globe. Saka Snow Globe. There we are. Wow, what a ruin. Oops. 
I think I need to go back to the ship if I'm gonna get a good shot. Claw Big says, I wish you could go inside these. Yeah, me too. That's a good shot. Okay, we did it. And with that, we're out of time. Let's take a look at what we have left. Back to the grind is the Ryujkin, uh, the Ryujin quest. <clears throat> and that's really the only major quest line we have yet to do besides all of the constellation quests. Now, we do need to do the Power From Beyond quests to get all of the other relics uh, before we move on to Unity, which is the primary uh, uh, constellation quest that we need to do. The rest of these are all side quests. Um, yeah. Now, chat was saying that there's a planet nearby that has something spooky going on, and that sounds really interesting. Maybe I'll tackle that. But now that we've solved our romantic situations, we can do a hard save here and hope for the best. And we'll pick up right here where I'm leaving off in my next episode. Thanks for joining me, everybody. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad we finally maxed out our affinity with Andresia, even though we probably lost it all by breaking up with her. Not even intentionally breaking up with her, pardon me, over and over again, but by cheating on her, I guess. Uh, but thankfully, we passed a persuasion check to make her okay with it. <laughs> I mean, based on her dialogue, that does sound like a glitch. It doesn't seem like something we should be able to do. But we'll go, uh, go ahead with it, because I definitely want to be able to um, break up with each of them and have a commitment to each of them so that I can do my lore videos on those in the future. But that's for another time. Uh, I need to get to work on the lore video that I've been working on all morning. I've been making great progress on it. I should get it done in time for the weekend, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. For the rest of this week, I've got more shorts, and of course, tomorrow is Thursday. So in addition to our Starfield live stream in the morning, we're going to have Scotch and Smoke Rings in the evening, where we're playing Dead Space 3, a game that I'm enjoying a lot more than I thought I would. So I hope you'll all tune into that. Thanks for being here with me today, everybody, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.